Hello students, uh, welcome to the session. Uh, today we are going to learn how to draw um, a circle in isometric projection. Okay, so for that let's take this question as an example. That is, draw the isometric view of 50 mm cube having circles on each face. Okay, so there is a cube. Okay, the front face of the cube is A, B, C, D. So in elevation it will be A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. And back face of the cube is P, Q, R, S. So it is named as, labeled as P dash, Q dash, R dash, S dash. So cube is having A corners, front corners are A, B, C and D. Back corners are P, Q, R and S. So this is the front view of the cube. Okay, so. Uh, so there is a circle just passing through the through this center okay it is uh, passing through the center and it is covering the full face okay so this is a circle like this okay so there is a circle like this on the front face okay and this is the front face. Now next I am going to draw the top view. Okay, so I have drawn a top view. The cube is of 50 mm. Okay, the cube is of 50 mm length. So next I am drawing the cube in the top view which is also a square in the top. So I am drawing that square. Okay, so that is also of 50 mm. Okay, this is also of 50 mm square. This is the top face, so the front face is A, B, C and D, back face is P, Q, R and S. So it is uh, labeled as such and on the top face also you are having a circular, circular marking. Okay, so this is the circle on the top face. So this is the circle on the top face. Okay, next and uh, one condition was that the Q was situated 10 m in front of vp okay so one condition was that the back face of the cube was 10 mm in front so i'm keeping that distance 10 mm in front and i'm putting it rotating it to the side view okay so i'm looking at from left hand side okay this is the front view this is the top view of the cube okay just like this this is the front view this is the top view and this is the side view okay so this is the top view front view so i'm looking from this side so that side view is going to be uh, it's going to be drawn over here okay so this is the front this is the top i'm looking from the side okay so i'm transferring that distance okay that distance uh, from the vertical plane okay i'm transferring to the right okay and i'm rotating it I'm rotating it okay and this distance also I'm rotating it okay so this is going to be 10 that is the distance from VP since this is the side view so it indicates the distance from the vertical plane okay this is 10 mm and this point will be 60 mm far because it will be 10 plus 50 so it will be 60 mm so this is the cube in the side view this is the cube in the left hand side view okay this will be the because I am viewing it from the left okay, so this is the left hand side view so this is the front face this is going to be front face this is the back face okay so the front face we have named it as P Q R and S and back face sorry it's no the front face is a b c and d and the back face is p q r and s okay so this is a side side face and on the side face also we are having a circle drawn over here on on it okay So, 
so on the three faces which is visible that is uh, we are going to draw the isometric view front view top view and the left hand side okay so for for that we are going to fix a that, that is the left bottom corner that is a as my uh, salient point so i'm fixing draw your you draw x y line first you draw x y line first and you fix the point a and you draw 30 degree line okay you take 30 degree inclination inclination you take it as 30 degree okay 30 degree inclination to the right this will be your x direction next uh, 30 degree to the left 30 degree to the left this will be your y dimension and 90 degree vertically upwards 90 degree vertically upwards this will be a this is your x left one will be a y and this will be your e side okay usually for perpendicular so this point I have taken as a so the side of the cube is 50 mm so i'm taking 50 mm i'm fif taking 50 mm and drawing the this side onto the x direction x and y okay so I'm drawing the cube and taking the x direction and taking the y direction okay then later the bottom the last corner of the bottom is then the height is also 50 mm so from each point so this is my point A this is my point B this is the point uh, sorry this is the no uh, this will be the point Q the bottom corner and this will be the point P P and Q are the bottom corners of the back face okay next i'm going to extrude it upwards so from p I'll, I'll draw a perpendicular upward from uh, a i'll draw perpendicular upward from q i'll be drawing perpendicular upward and from this point i'll be drawing perpendicular so from b sorry from p a p a b and q okay from p a b and q i'll be draw, drawing perpendiculars okay and the height will be marked so what is the height the height is also 50 so from 50 above from a point above from b the point above and from q the point above so above p you will be having s above q you will be having r above a you will be having uh, d and above b you will be having c so a b c d is your front face so a b c d is your front face okay a b c d is your front face so this is the front face a b c d back face uh, back face we can't see it in isometric view whereas the left face can be seen okay the front face the left face and the top face so left face which is a uh, a D S P. Okay, A D S P. This is the left face. It can also be seen in the isometric view, and the top face. So these three faces can be seen. That is the front face. So this is the front direction. This is the top top face, and this is the side left side view. So this is the side view from the left. So that is why we are drawing the left hand side view on the right. Okay this image should come on the right side so you are having so we need to locate the center so this side all these sides are 50 mm okay the height we know that the height of the cube is 50 mm okay the x direction length the x direction length it is 50 mm and also the y direction length is also 50 because it is a cube so x direction 50 y direction 50 and height is also 50 okay then you locate the centers okay you locate the centers for that how will you locate the centers you just draw the diagonals okay you just draw the diagonals you'll get the center of each face okay you just draw the diagonals or also you could draw the uh, midpoints the line joining the opposite midpoints okay of opposite midpoints of midpoints of opposite edges okay or otherwise you can just draw the diagonals so so 
so on the front face this is the front face a b c d so you need a circle passing through the midpoints okay passing through the midpoints okay i have to mark the midpoints also so this is the midpoints of each face these are the midpoints of each face if you are taking the top face these are the midpoints if you take the uh, left side face these are the midpoints okay so i need a circle which is passing through uh, let's name it as in the front face let us name it as 1 2 3 and 4 okay so this is the front face and uh, the circle is passing through the midpoints of each each face and naming it as 1 2 3 and 4 okay so this is that circle so these points will be 1 2 3 and 4 okay so it should pass through the midpoints so for that but you can see that it appears as an the circle as it passes through the midpoints it won't be a circle but it appears as an ellipse so how to draw this ellipse is what we are going to do now yeah this method is called the four center method so for that what you have to do is you can see that when you rotate it like this this face a b c d appears as a rhombus right a b c d appears as a rhombus so the next procedure is you keep the uh, paper like this okay so this is your this is the major diameter and this is the minor diameter the major diameter is AC and the minor diameter is BD. Draw, draw the diagonals first. Okay, you draw the diagonals first. AB and BC. Okay, BD. Okay, after that, what you have to do is uh, so these are the uh, corners of the minor diagonal B and D. Okay, now next, what you have to do is you keep the point uh, pencil at B and you join the so with respect to B, the point B, these two edges are the opposite faces. With respect to Q, these two edges are the opposite faces. So, what you have to do is, you have to join B and the midpoint of the opposite faces. That is from B, you join to this midpoint, which is the point 1 as we have named it. And uh, this midpoint, this is 1, this is your 2, this point is 1 this point is 2 this midpoint is 3 and this midpoint is 4 okay so what you have to do is from B you join 1 to 1 from B you join 2 similarly from this other corner D you join 4 okay and from D you join this opposite face midpoint that is 3 okay now what you do is you will be having 2 points over here name this as O1 and name this as O2 ok next what you have to take is do is you have to take B1 as your radius ok you have to take B1 as your radius keep the center at B keep the center at B and you draw an R from 1 to 2 draw an R from 1 to 2 next you keep the center at D, the opposite corner D ok, take D4 as the radius and you draw an arc from 4 to 3 you draw an arc from 4 to 3 ok, so that completes the uh, two sides of the ellipse, the isometric circle which is an ellipse next what you do is, instead of B and D, you keep the compass at O1, you keep the compass at O1, take O1, O1, 1 as the radius, take O1, 1 as the radius and you draw the, complete the third side, okay, from 4 to 1. Next, you keep the center at O2, take O2, 2 as the radius, take O2, 2 as the radius and you complete the fourth fourth side that is the so in this uh, fourth uh, curve that is two three so in this manner you can see that the circle has been drawn okay the circle has been drawn this is the circle which appears as an ellipse one two three four similarly you can do it on the other two faces for that you keep 
so if you are doing it on the side face left hand side face you keep the uh, book like this okay so in this manner this is the rhombus this is your minor diameter this is your major diameter follow the same procedure next the top face this is the major this is the minor follow the same procedure follow the same procedure and you can complete the circles so follow the same procedure and you can do it on the other two faces okay you can do it on the other two faces okay so this is about isometric circle uh, in this question you can see that it is an isometric view question so an isometric view question uh, it is going to be isometric view question it is going to be uh, all the dimensions will be 50 itself 50 50 and 50 this all these isometric lengths are going to be 50 50 and 50 whereas if it was an isometric projection question instead of view it was isometric projection question then you would have to take the isometric scale okay so isometric scale corresponding to 50 you will have to find out the iso 50 length and based on that length you will have to draw uh, instead of that the true 50 you will have to take isometric 50 and you have to draw that cuboid ok you have to draw that cube this will be isometric 50 so that is it about isometric circle